Markets have been pricing in Wednesday's FOMC decision for weeks. We're down just 3.5% from the last meeting in July, but more than 10% from the August highs as the higher for longer Fed speak sets in. Just this morning, as I was preparing for this pod, this headline screamed across my terminal. That number hurts stock investors, but it hits home buyers the most as the 10-year yield is what, ba- what banks look to when setting mortgage rates. What does it mean for you and your wallet? Welcome to The Money Runner. It's Monday, September 19th. This is your Market Minute. I'm David Nelson. Home prices are going to fall, but it may not help would-be home buyers as higher rates for your mortgage will more than eat up whatever savings might be available on price. The Bankrate.com national average of 30-year fixed mortgage rates is now over 6% and will continue to march higher with each stair-step move in the 10-year yield. Given that housing touches so many areas of, of the economy, it's not surprising it's a source of concern for economists and investors. Construction and retailers are just two industries closely linked to the housing market. Of course, if you can't buy a home, then you have to rent. And that plays into what we saw in last week's core CPI number. Coming in hot, it caused the worst one-day sell-off for the broad market since 2020. The S&P ended the week down close to 5%. Interest rates are at the heart of almost every investment decision, whether it's a home, a car, a refrigerator, and yes, even stocks. Most valuation models start with the risk-free rate, and as that climbs, stock price prices often fall. When the rate gets high enough, it becomes a competing asset class. For much of the last decade, the rallying cry for stock investors was there is no alternative. Now, suddenly there is. So what becomes really critical is just how good is our Federal Reserve at running monetary policy? The history isn't good as the Fed has bounced from one crisis to the next and begs the question, would we be better off if we let computers run the Federal Reserve? That's exactly what we're going to discuss in tonight's full-length podcast. I put that question to the chief strategist of an AI and machine learning shop, that's artificial intelligence, the global head of structured macro at a large international bank, a managing director at another bulge bracket investment bank, and finally, the former director of research of one of the most successful hedge funds ever. The answer shocked even me. Just hit the subscribe button if you'd like to find out what they have to say. We'll let you know as soon as it's ready. I'm David Nelson.